What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're gonna to be checking out Fluid Motion Frames 2 running on the new Ryzen AI 9 HX370. Recently, AMD released a new technical preview that allows us to use this with the new Ryzen AI chips and those RDNA 3.5 graphics. But keep in mind, if you've got something with, let's say the Radeon 780M, this technical preview will also work there and you can definitely up your frame rate with something like this on that iGPU also. But of course, since we've got this more powerful RDNA 3.5 based 16 CU iGPU in the HX370, I wanted to test it over here. This has been my main rig for more than a month now, and with this, we do have a built-in RTX 4060, but for the most part, I've actually been using the new Radeon 890M graphics that compared up with this Ryzen AI 9 HX370. Now, it does offer really great performance like it is, but with Fluid Motion Frames 2, we can double the frame rate in most every game that I've tested so far. This is a technical preview. Over on AMD's website, you can actually download, and I'll leave a link in the description. They have come up with a lot of different fixes, a few new modes here, like a search mode, which allows us to set it to auto, standard, or high. Standard, for the most part, with these iGPUs, and search mode basically controls frame generation smoothness. Obviously, setting it to high will give you smoother frame generation, but on this iGPU, I'm gonna get the most out of it, so I'm set to standard. We've also got some performance improvements, like the performance mode, again, auto, quality, or performance, iGPUs in performance mode, lower latency frame generation here with this new technical preview. And remember, this is AMD's Fluid Motion Frames 2. You can download the preview right here. It gives you a list of all the GPUs that are supported, all the APUs that are supported. We've got it installed right here. Since it's a technical preview, we've got a really odd number up here, and I'm not sure if this preview will auto-update here. Don't think it will, but either way, I've been keeping an eye on it just to make sure I'm on the latest update here. With this rig, we've only got 16 gigs of LP DDR5X at 7500, and from what I've tested so far, yeah, it's working out really well like this, and I've dedicated four gigs of that RAM to VRAM. Now, it will auto-allocate more if we need it, but I just went into the BIOS and set that up just like it is. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into it. Got a couple games that I wanted to show off here. And as it turns out, I did run into a little bit of technical difficulty trying to record the screen internally. Every time I enabled fluid motion frames, uh, my overlay would disappear. And really with the AMD overlay, this is the only way we can see those extra generated frames. Right now, we don't have any fluid motion frames on, Forza Horizon 5, 1200p, medium settings, no FSR, we don't need any scaling with this game, and by itself, it does perform absolutely amazing on this HX370, but we can get a lot more out of it. So while I'm in game, I'm just going to press Alt-R, and there is a hotkey just to enable fluid motion frames right off the bat if you want to, but I want to get in here and just show you what we've got. Fluid Motion Frames 2 with this technical preview. Hovering over everything will give you an idea of exactly what it does. So it's disabled right now, but we're gonna go ahead and enable it. And once we enable fluid motion frames, it's also gonna enable anti-lag. You can disable that if you want to, but they do recommend it coming on and that's why it automatically comes on for us. And now we can mess around with the settings for our search mode and performance. Search mode is gonna smooth fluid motion frames out and with a higher end GPU, I would definitely go to quality, but I'm gonna keep it at standard here with the iGPU. And we've also got performance mode. With the iGPU, we'll go to performance. This is just going to make it a little easier on that iGPU. Once we've got this enabled, we can close down the AMD software. And before, with Forza Horizon 5 medium settings, 1200p, no FSR, we were seeing an average of around 86 FPS, which was more than playable. I mean, don't get me wrong, really great frame rate for an iGPU. But with Fluid Motion Frames 2, we're now over 120 FPS. In fact, we're seeing an average of 136 FPS with this game on the HX370. So we didn't quite double the FPS here with Forza Horizon 5, but I'm sure I could if I upped the TDP on this thing. We can actually take this up to 80 watts in this laptop. Right now we're only at a 45 watt TDP and I'm not comparing this to a handheld whatsoever. If I was to do that, I'd take the wattage down. Right now I really wanted to see what we could get out of this and performance here with Fluid Motion Frames 2 is definitely looking really great.
Next up, Elden Ring 1080p medium settings. And to tell you the truth, I thought we'd get much more out of this the way it sits right now at that 45 watt TDP on this Ryzen AI HX 370. And you could lower the resolution here, take it down to 720, get 60, lock it down, have a great time with this game. But I wanted to see what we could do at 1080. And unfortunately, even at low settings, we're only going to see an average of around 55. So what I want to do here is head into the AMD settings. We're going to enable fluid motion frames too. Search mode, standard, performance, at performance. And just to give you an idea, the built-in display here with this laptop is a 165 hertz display. Now instead of getting an average of 46, we're now getting an average of around 85. So we basically doubled the frame rate here with fluid motion frames too enabled with Elden Ring. And you know, with this new preview, I haven't noticed any of the weird glitching going on with the sides of the screen when it comes to, you know, frame generation on these iGPUs. So yeah, they're definitely working their magic over there. And I'm sure by the time this is released, we're going to see even better performance out of this. The final game I wanted to test out here was Fallout 4. And right now we are at 1600p ultra setting. So we've got this maxed out on this display here. Unfortunately, it's not going to run at 60 on this iGPU, at least not at the time I'm making this video with no frame generation. But it's still pretty impressive. We're seeing an average of around 54 FPS with this at 1600p on integrated graphics. But of course, we can get much more out of it with fluid motion frames too. So just heading into the settings, we're going to use the same thing here. We're just going to enable it. Search mode, standard, performance, at performance. And now that we've got all of this set up, moving back into the game, we're now seeing an average of around 84 FPS. So it really upped that frame rate. And with this new technical preview of Fluid Motion Frames 2, it does work with the other iGPUs that we've tested in the past, like the 780M. But I really wanted to test it on these new RDNA 3.5 graphics with these Ryzen AI chips. I think we will see other chips with the same iGPU down the road, specifically made for handhelds. So this is going to be really awesome when it comes to that. But, you know, if you're working with a laptop that only has these integrated graphics, definitely give it a try. And it's still pretty early here for Fluid Motion Frames 2. They've been doing a lot of work ever since Fluid Motion Frames was released. Uh, 2 does have those new upgrades, and in my opinion, it is working much better even on the 780M. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. I've been keeping my eye on these technical previews and if we get any other major updates I will make at least one more video before this goes official. But that's it for this one. Like always, thanks for watching.